Greetings, folks. Today is Sunday, December the 12th, uh, December the 23rd, uh, 2018, and this is my commentary. Now, I'm Tom Lina Weaver, and my commentary is going to be about the Sunday shows. And it's entitled, Protect What? Now, for some time, I've been hearing uh, various commentators, you know, conservative talkers and people in the media, saying that the president's job is to protect the United States of America. Now, on Fox News Sunday, Leon Panetta went a step further. He said that the president's job, the president takes an oath to protect the security of the United States. No, he did not. Mr. Panetta, if you can read, please read Article 2 of the Constitution the last paragraph, he takes an oath to preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution. You get that, Mr. Panetta? <laughs> I, I kid you not. These people, I, I swear to you that the Constitution really doesn't matter to a whole lot of people anymore. But it should. Failure to apply the Constitution to our government is making the chaos in Washington, D.C. Now, every once in a while, Donald Trump does something right. Like pulling us out of Afghanistan and Syria. And that's what the discussion was about. We need to protect the United States. And that's why we should not pull out of Afghanistan and Syria. But that's not what the president took an oath for. Now, also, the Constitution says that Congress has the power to declare war. The last time Congress declared war was back in the 40s, I forget what year, when President Roosevelt went to Congress and asked for a declaration of war, and he got it. That was the last time we had a declaration of war. Every military action since then, unless it was in defense, uh, because a war is a state of aggression against someone else. Defense is not aggression. It is defense. And so I don't have a problem with the president acting in defense of the United States. When we're attacked, I don't have a problem with him responding. But to go to war where we are the aggressor, it takes a, cons it takes a declaration of war from Congress. And we haven't had that since World War II. You know, so we should never have been in Afghanistan and Syria to begin with. So uh, when it comes to military, I'm a lot like Ron Paul. I believe we should bring our soldiers home because we they are not fighting in any constitutional war. But that doesn't seem to matter, does it? Come on, American people. Read the Constitution. I challenge you. Read the Constitution. And show me where you think the Constitution is being followed. You know, and as far, and as, far as the, uh, the shutdown is concerned, you know, sometimes the president does the right thing for the wrong reasons. 
you know, we should we should shut down the Department of Education and keep it shut down because the Congress has no power to regulate education or fund it. So there are a bunch of unconstitutional offices, agencies, and uh, and departments that should not be funded, that should not be open. Shut them down and keep them shut down. Now, it's not a complete shutdown. The Department of Defense is going to continue to operate. The uh, the, the Social Security will continue to operate. You know, I mean, a lot of people try to scare people into thinking, oh, am I going to get my Social Security check or not? Social Security will not be shut down. You know, that's part of, oh, I can't think of the name of the law, but there's a law governing shut government shutdown. And it's only the, um, the the o- the only things that will be shut down are things that are not all that important, like the Department of Education. And I, I I'm not sure, but I think Homeland Security gets to be shut down too. And why do we need Homeland Security? We have a Department of Defense. It is their job to secure the homeland when called upon to. So, I mean, in in the case of an invasion, for example, the military should be involved. But we're not being invaded. We haven't been invaded since Pearl Harbor. Or some people might say 9-11, but that's another story. And I'm going to get into 9-11 at some point. So, now, another thing, Republicans. You know, I'm not a fan of President Trump. So if the Republican Party can come up with a better ticket for 2020, I might support it. Like, for example, I think a good ticket for the Republicans would be Rand Paul for president, Justin Amash for vice president. Now, I'd much rather have an independent, a libertarian, or even from somebody from the Constitution Party. Uh, but I will settle for somebody like Rand Paul and Justin Amash. That is a ticket I could support. So, and I'm independent now. I'm, I'm not a Republican anymore. I've left the Republican Party because of the crazy antics of the Republican Party. You know, you have these people, what is it, Lindsey Graham said, (laughs) leaving Afghanistan and Syria is like surrender. No, it's not. It's getting back to the Constitution. And by the way, President Trump, If you are going back to the Constitution and if you are looking for a defense secretary that agrees with pulling out of Afghanistan and Syria, I'm available. (laughs) Of course, I'm not going to be a Republican again if you won't mind having an independent um, defense secretary. If you are going to go in the direction of bringing our military home, I will support that. I could support that as a defense secretary. So, okay. um, So, folks, the Constitution is what governs our government. The reason we have the mess in Washington that we have is because they are not following the Constitution. We have to get back to the Constitution. It would solve our economic problems. It will solve all of our political problems, every one of them. So please, let's get back to the Constitution. And Liam Panetta, please read Article 2. 
president did not take that kind of oath. Well, that's my commentary. Thanks for listening.